welcome to the speed build video in the sims 4 my name is irene and today i am building my star wars inspired house with the addition of baby yoda as a statue to the game he came with an update and i was so psyched about it and the new star wars movie releasing this week the rise of skywalker i thought it would be fun to make a star wars inspired build today i did a lord of the rings inspired build before and the last build i did my high-end design villa was kind of james bond inspired and i had so much fun with these builds and I'm a big fan of the Star Wars saga, so I really wanted to give it a try. I was kind of doubting between building it in a desert world or in a jungle world, so I made a poll on Twitter so people could decide the setting for my next build. I didn't say anything about Star Wars though. Yeah, in Jungle 1, so that's why I built this in a jungle world. As I was saying, I'm a big fan of Star Wars, but I'm not full into the lore like I am with example for the Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings, I watched all the books and everything, and with Star Wars, I watched the movies. Some of them I watched a couple of times, but I always forget the names of the planets and everything. So I got to do some research for this build. So yeah, I watched some YouTube videos about jungle planets in Star Wars, and I re-watched three movies again while building this. The first three movies, so actually the fourth, the fifth, and the sixth, sixth part. And then the YouTube video about jungle planets apparently there are 134 jungle planets in the star wars universe oh my god so much <laughs> and in my mind in almost every single star wars movie there is there are jungle scenes and yeah with me rewatching the movies again the first movie i watched again so the fourth part a new hope the rebel base is set on Jevin 4 and Jevin 4 is a jungle planet and i really wanted to use that as a setting for this build that rebel base really looks like a maya temple and the scenes of the movie are really shot where the maya temples are so i wanted to use these maya temples in this build too and combine it with kind of a crash down spaceship that is converted into a futuristic house in my mind this build is in the far far future after a new hope and i still i really even don't know if jeff and four still exists in the far far future in the saga but well i went with that in my mind and in the far far future after a new hope and the whole rebel base is crumbled down into ruins and that spaceship that's crashed down here was crashed down years ago and really inverted into of converted into a house so yeah that was really the setting that i had in mind i still did use a reference picture or a kind of an inspiration picture for this build it was concept art and i will put a link to the picture in the description box down below and i've kind of based it on that yeah you can check that picture out if you want but it was kind of a spaceship over rocks and a rocks with an arch and i really wanted to create that arch in my build as well so i used some debug items for it to create these rocks i had that arch in my mind that arched debug item rock that came with island living so i used it here and yeah i placed a lot of other rocks from jungle adventure just over that rock and surrounding the rock because that island living rock was a little bit too black for my liking comparison with the rocks in the environment surrounding this lot i really want to blend it into the world here so that's when i placed a lot of yeah a lot of rocks from jungle adventure as well to really blend it all together of course i'm building this in the world that came with the jungle adventure pack el selva dorada or something i always forget the name on the 64 by 64 lot again i really like building on 64 by 64 a lot i have a lot of space i can do everything i want and i've built on this lot before and just really love the look of the jungle that is surrounding this entire lot so i really love building on this lot again i really had the shape of the futuristic house in my mind that i wanted to yeah use angled walls and of course we cannot really build angled walls in the game you can kind of use roofs for it but i wanted to use some other items for it and i tried out so many different things but in the end i ended up with the yeah, items that i use here some are debug items and some are just normal items 
angled kind of roofs on the left that I used are e debug items, the things that I'm placing in right now, they're debug items and they came with a city living and they're so cool because they light up at night so that looks yeah, even more futuristic at night than it does during the day. And yeah, the right angle that they use, they are a bench from Discover University, the thing that I'm placing, replacing in right now. And I sized it up six times actually. And I really liked that uh, it had the same angle, almost the same angle as the debug items from City Living that I used. So I was very happy with that. I use actually a lot of Discover University items in this build. It's so strange, but I use sofas later on. And of course, wallpaper, the wallpaper that I used on the exterior here, and I will use it on the interior too. I used it in my last build as well, in my high-end design villa. And I think it's so much fun that you can use the wallpaper that you can see here. I used it in my previous build in dark gray and in black. And I think it's so fun that you can use wallpaper for a high-end design villa but for a very futuristic build as well the windows that i've just placed in are from discover university too i wanted to create some shapes here where the whole build is kind of leaning on so i use roofs for it as you can see i've placed a room on the ground and i raised it up a, a lot so the roof was at the exact good spot where i wanted it to be and when you pull out the roof and it's still on that room, you cannot pull it out because it turns red, as you can see. But when you remove that room, you can really pull out that roof and yeah, make some shapes in that way. So I used that method here too. Yeah, and I really wanted to make it look like it was kind of leading on these things in the rocks. And later on, I will change it up. Yeah, in some other colors, I will use some glass roofs as well. These are debug items as well. They came with the Stranger Fill pack. And of course, there is like a kind of secret base or something in the Stranger Fill. So, a lot of debug items that came with Stranger Fill are kind of futuristic, and I thought it was fun. The same for the plane that I placed on top of the build, it's floating here. And of course I know it doesn't really look like a plane that you can see in a Star Wars movie, but I still really wanted to use it because it's Star Wars inspired of course. And I just thought it was so cool to place a floating plane in. And yeah, I still thought it was kind of fitting and I just really wanted to place that floating plane in and we didn't have any yeah, planes. We have a couple of planes in the game with the debug items. But we, yeah, I thought this one was the most fitting for a Star Wars build. The door that I placed in here is kind of a secret door and will lead to a secret laboratory over there. Our research room and it came with a stranger fill as well. The plants that I use here to make these whole rocks look overgrown are debug items too. And I talked about them so much. And I talked about them before, but if you want to enter these debug items and use them, you got to use two cheats. First of all, of course, you have to use Ctrl Shift C to unlock the cheat box. And then you want to type in bb.show hidden objects. And after that, bb.show live hidden objects. And you get a whole array of hidden items, more than a thousand hidden items. And I use them so much in my game and in my builds. And other uh, cheats that I just found out about, I think, last week. And I've been playing the game for years and years. And it's actually yeah, very handy to use if you want to download this build and put it in your own game. You can actually, if you are deciding to download this and put it in your own game, you can, there are actually costumes in the game that you can dress yourself as Princess Leia and I think as Darth Maul in the game, maybe Darth Vader as well, I'm not really sure, but I thought it would so, be so much fun to really dress up like a Star Wars character and play this in this lot but maybe you've noticed it already i didn't place any stairs in on the exterior i tried out a couple of different things with these stairs and of course i cut it out of the video because you couldn't see it but yeah i just didn't really love the look of these stairs at the exterior i thought it was so distracting of the rest of the build and yeah i just didn't really love the look of it so i decided to yeah didn't place any stairs in. Of course, there are stairs in the interior in the house because it's a fully functional house. But there are actually some cheats that you still enter this house. 
Of course, you can become a spellcaster and then you can teleport yourself. That's an option, but it's kind of odd to live as a spellcaster uh, in this house. So you can teleport your sim. And the cheat you want to use for that is, of course, you got to use that Ctrl Shift C again to unlock your cheat box. But then you want to type in testing cheats true. And when you hold on shift key and you will and you can click on your sim you get a whole array of cheat option, options you can disable the need decay you can make your sim happy and can do a lot of different things but if you hold in that shift key and you click somewhere in the world you can teleport your sim here so if you use that cheat you can teleport your sim into the house and still really use this house or of course you can decide to play some stairs in yourself if you want but yeah i just thought it was a little bit distractive of the entire build i'm on to the landscaping here i really wanted to make a pond underneath this entire build i was kind of doubting what to do with the landscaping here i didn't want to overdo it or something and i still had a lot of space in front of the build of course I could create hills and a lot of plants and trees everywhere but I didn't want to make it that yeah, distracting of the entire build but I still thought it would be fun to yeah, create some water underneath the build where the entire house is floating over and, yeah, and I thought it would be fun to do. We're onto the interior right now and it kind of inspired this interior on clouds. A city, an amazing city in the movies as well. and. Yeah, the second movie so actually the fifth part there are some scenes there in the interior too and it's all very bright and white and very futuristic and i, I thought it would be yeah fun to use that style here it was kind of totally different style that i normally go for in my builds but yeah i really loved using some items that i never used before and yeah it was kind of a home for baby Yoda or something that is someone that is living here with baby Yoda so of course I will place in baby Yoda later on too and I found oh man I was so happy when I found that item it's actually my favorite thing in this entire build I went through all the items that came with get to work to see if there were some items that I could use in the interior here and because get to work actually came with kind of a secret alien planet and you became, uh, your sim can become an alien and you can have alien babies and everything and i found an alien crib and i actually placed the statue of baby yoda in there like there he was really in that crib like he looks in the delorean and oh man i was so happy with that but you can see that in a couple of minutes i think First we are onto the kitchen and I wanted to kind of make a custom kitchen. I used some shelves for it and I sized them up. How the kitchen is looking right, yeah, you can see it. I removed some things here, yeah. And I still wanted to make this kind of cozy and inviting or something. Of course I could go for just an extremely spaceship look. Yeah, but I still wanted to put in some de decorations and everything. The sleeping pot that I just placed in. It came to get famous and I think I will never use that item again. It's the first time that I used it too, but I thought it was so fitting for the whole interior style I went with. I totally forgot about that item because I never used it in my builds, but yeah, I thought it was so fitting for it. I did something with the rock here. This rock was sticking to the ground in the house and yeah it looks very strange with all the with the white floors i decided to make a fence just around the rock to make the color of the ground where the rock was in brown in the dirt color and yeah to place some plants in there so really kind of make an indoor garden there really make it yeah into a feature and i did that before especially when i'm building up on rocks and have uh, rocks sticking to the ground yeah, and I really love the effect that it gave. I'm using some items from Dine Out as well. The stone tables that are placed against the wall. I used that item first in my previous build, behind Design Villa. And yeah, I really love the item and I really think it gives yeah, the room a little bit more. As I was saying, I used a lot of items from Get to Work in the interior in this build. But I actually really used some items from Discover University as well because Discover University came with some robots, so I used them too, of course. Of course, I wanted to make this whole interior functional, so I placed in a bathroom over here. I still had some space left here. 
yeah it's kind of cramped because it's underneath that angled roof but yeah i just wanted to place it in here and make it into a functional build in that way and yeah i think we're almost at the end of this video already yeah there isn't that much space in the interior but yeah i still wanted to make this whole functional and very white and very bright i will place in some clutter items later on and if you and this item the soap item that i used are from spa day and i really love spa day items the same for the mirrors that i use and on the higher level there will be kind of a secret laboratory research center with the uh, door that I used from Stranger Phil. And I think we're almost at the Baby Yoda, Baby Yoda crib that I've placed in. Yeah, I think so. The bouquets that I've placed in is from the fitness stuff pack. And it's not my favorite stuff pack. And I think I never really used the items that came with that pack. But yeah, for this build, they were kind of fitting, so I love that. The cows that I placed in over here is from White Leather, and yeah, still a bit the shapes, with the rounded shapes, I really love that. Of course, I wanted to place a desk in here with a computer and a little bit more of bookcases and everything. Oh, and I found some lights, some hanging lights that came with these ones that came with Get to Work. They really look like UFOs and I really love that. Oh, and now we're onto that crib with Baby Yoda. Oh man, I love it. <laughs> I really like the look of it. Oh, that small crib it looks so futuristic with a small cute Baby Yoda in it. Yeah, really my favorite part. But I think I'm going to cut off this voiceover by now. We're just a couple of minutes left. We're only, well, we're almost going into the screenshots now. So I really hope you've enjoyed this build. If you do, please give it a like or a comment or something. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. I would really, really appreciate it. And I really hope to talk to you soon, maybe in one of my next videos, or maybe you want to a binge watch a playlist or something <laughs> yeah and i hope to talk to you soon goodbye